Hello, my name is Colin Carey and welcome to my entrepreneurial marketing vlog. Entrepreneurial marketing has been defined in several ways. While Stoke confines entrepreneurial marketing to small and medium sized enterprises, Blunder Lettel contrastingly states that entrepreneurial marketing is not limited to small organisations, implying it's more of a measure of the approach to the market. This is reinforced by Morris et al, who defines entrepreneurial marketing as a proactive, innovative, risk catering approach to the identification and exploitation of opportunities for attracting and retaining profitable customers. This highlights stirring away from the traditional marketing techniques and in fact actively searching to find new unique ways to pull customers. Justin reiterates this and describes entrepreneurial marketing techniques to challenge established marketing inventions. Paddy Power and their entrepreneurial marketing methods. Viral marketing. Viral marketing applies word of mouth marketing to the online environment. Paddy Power used controversy to implement viral marketing because in June 2014, during the run up to the World Cup, Paddy Power tweeted this photo that convinced thousands of people they had purposely damaged the Amazon rainforest for promotion. As anticipated, there was an uproar of reactions. Overall, the stunt proved successful as it contributed to 148,000 customer base increase Paddy Power experience over just a four week period. This therefore entertained the public and started numerous conversations globally. As you can see, a recent report by Mintel shows that these are the main reasons of why people share content online, which is a likely reason for their success. Paddy Power also used YouTube adverts to back interest of millions. Their viral marketing success is evident with the traffic they drive to the social media sites because they boast the most viewed YouTube video of all bookmakers with 2.2 million views and are the most followed bookmaker on Twitter with 637,000 followers, which is 294,000 followers more than their closest competition, Skybet. Another entrepreneurial marketing method Paddy Power adopts is cause related marketing. This is a form of marketing in which a company and a charity collaborate. In 2013, Paddy Power teamed up with a stone wall to tackle homophobia in football. The campaign was simple. Paddy Power distributed rainbow laces to football teams across the UK to raise awareness for homophobia. The campaign's success grew exponentially and by the end of 2014, 75% of the Premier League clubs were involved. This was a great leap for the total of zero clubs who wanted to tackle homophobia in football just four years prior. The campaign generated 400 million impressions on Twitter in just one week, and 65% of regular betters said that they are now thought much more highly of Paddy Power. And the success didn't stop here, because Paddy Power became officially recognised for the quality of this campaign by winning the Cause Related Marketing Strategy of the Year Award in 2014. Paddy Power managed to drive this positive publicity and official recognition on a limited budget and a simple idea, therefore making it a very successful entrepreneurial marketing method for them. Guerrilla Marketing Levinson, as cited by Cass and et al, summarised this as doing more with less, low-cost innovation. One form of this marketing method is ambush marketing. Typical of any entrepreneurial marketing method, it requires time, imagination and quantum thinking. Cambridge University defined ambush marketing as a situation in which a company tries to advertise its products in a connection with a big public event without paying any money, although they are not the official sponsor. In 2012, Paddy Power convinced professional footballer Nicholas Bentner to wear their lucky underpants and flash them to the cameras. Despite the exposure it gave Paddy Power, this came at a cost, as UEFA issued Bentner an £80,000 fine to which Paddy Power covered. This highlights poorish management by Paddy Power leading to difficult future resource leveraging. On the contrary, back in 2014, Paddy Power succeeded on a colossal scale as they managed to infiltrate the Brit Awards by posing as the DJ duo funk Daft Punk. They managed to access the red carpet and they arrived at the paparazzi hotspot just in front of the board where they, with the event's official sponsors on. They ripped their suit pants off to reveal Paddy Power's infamous lucky pants. This led to mass media exposure and essentially free publicity for Paddy Power on a giant scale, making it an overall success. Paddy Power also used affiliate marketing. This is a way for a company to sell its products by signing up individuals or companies who market the company's products in return for a commission. Paddy Power's partner scheme offers affiliate commission for driving customers to Paddy Power. Despite the scheme offering affiliates ongoing support via email, the program has been described as deeply uncompetitive by betting affiliate programs professional reviewers who proclaim Paddy Power offered a service only fit for parasites. Consequently, Paddy Power's affiliate marketing programs are not as successful as competitors such as William Hill. Paddy Power can improve their entrepreneurial marketing by ironing out the problems with their affiliates. This is because, according to them until 2017, using affiliates as a channel for betting is becoming increasingly popular. This comes from the rise of the social betting networks such as WantMyBet emerging as affiliate platforms whose users can share tips, compete and place bets with bookmakers without having to visit their website. If Paddy Power were offered more enticing incentives and provide a better service to affiliates, they could establish a better relationship and really exploit the opportunity to grow with social betting networks. This is now more relevant than ever, as Paddy Power's rivals William Hill have taken this to the next level by allowing their customers to request and accept odds via Twitter using the hashtag YourOdds. Therefore, I secondly recommend Paddy Power use a highly followed Twitter account to apply the same concept because they have a much larger following than William Hill, so will therefore be able to remain competitive whilst at the same time driving custom to their organisation in order to grow exponentially.